Hi! A lot of people are afraid of spiders, but there are also many people who adore them. Some even make them their pets. And there are a great many types and kinds of spiders out there. Over 42,000 species, you guys. The biggest spiders are really enormous. Seriously, you'll be surprised how big a spider can get. Plus, they are very dangerous because they're venomous. Alright, let's check out some real big ass spiders, you guys. Turns out there are over 10,000 types of spiders in Australia. And Huntsman Spider is just one of them. This particular one decided to come live with this family from Australia. It's kind of a bummer that the video stops right when the spider jumps on the camera. Things only started to get interesting. And just so you know, a huntsman spider is your typical hairy, big, rapid kind of spider. It can move really fast. You'd never think a spider could be this quick, which is kind of scary, especially if you're afraid of spiders. Still, huntsman spiders are usually afraid of humans, and their venom isn't dangerous for people. The danger comes from the fact that drivers sometimes get spooked by these guys when they come from under the dashboard while the car is moving fast. And while huntsman spiders look kinda scary, they can be a great help. They rid people's houses of various insectoid pests. You just look at this one. Who knows how it found its way into the house. This man put together a whole bunch of chairs just in order to be able to get to it. Looks like this guy's got the nerves of steel and great love and affection for insects. There are great many kinds of spiders out there, and many spiders look great. They hypnotize you with their colorful patterns, their strange looks and, you know, unique character. And if you're thinking of getting yourself one, then perhaps you might want to consider a spider like Amlipagi. It looks kinda spooky, but it's actually peaceful, and it's only dangerous for other insects that it hunts day and night. And here's a video of a whole bunch of spiders that came to live under a roof of one of the houses in Australia. There are literally hundreds of spiders there. Certainly isn't something you wish to see under a roof of your house, right? But look what happens then. The camera goes up and we see a giant mother spider. This is something you don't want to see in real life, that's for sure. And here is something even more frightening. This one was captured in one of the abandoned cellars. Nobody seems to know what those are. Those spiders that look similar to this one never got to being this huge. Although it's totally possible there's some video editing involved in this. By the way, there are many videos similar to this one with the same kind of spiders. And they all look huge, looks cool, but no matter what they say, feels like those are not real spiders. This man found a giant spider on his ceiling. He wanted to catch it and throw it away. So let's have a look at how he's gonna handle this intricate task. Well, can call this man the best spider catcher ever. 
What could possibly be worse than getting locked in a room full of spiders? It's the worst possible thing for arachnophobe, that's for sure. This is somewhere in Mexico. There must be tens of thousands of spiders there. Crazy stuff, right? Do you guys have any idea how is this possible? It's just very disturbing and strange. Therafosa blondi. Officially, the world's largest kind of spider. It's a bird eater, and most arachnologists seem to agree that those are the biggest in the world. Usually, Therafosa blondi are reddish brown. They have lots of red little hair on their paws. The world's largest spider typically dwells in the whereabouts of Venezuela, Suriname, and Brazil. They are usually 3 to 4 inches long and their leg spawn is about 11 inches. They call them bird eaters, but for the most part their diet consists of mice, small snakes, lizards, butterflies and bugs. They ambush their prey, jump on their victim, and then they use their fangs to kill them. Their venom paralyzes small animals, but it's pretty much harmless for humans pretty much like a bee sting. They don't normally attack people, only to protect themselves. They live in halls, usually those that belong to their victims, I mean used to belong to their victims. These spiders are pretty rare, and it's hard to find them in their natural habitat. Therafosa blondi might be the biggest spider in the world, but Heteropoda maxima is the one with the widest leg span. That's up to 12 inches with fully grown spiders. Most of these dwell in Laos. They prefer deep, dark caves, and they rarely go out anywhere. They have relatively small brownish-yellow bodies with slightly darker bellies. There isn't much information about these spiders out there, but there's always new and exciting news. A very strange occasion happened in Brazil. People just didn't seem to know what to make of what they saw out on the street. They were too damn scared to go out. It was basically raining spiders. In this video we see thousands of spiders hanging down from trees and lines. Feels like they literally fall from the sky. They call them Nelosimus eximius. They are also known as social spiders. So what they do is they create mass colonies in South America. They come together and they make some giant ass webs. Sometimes there are like 50,000 specimens in one colony, which seems absolutely insane. It isn't always easy to get rid of insects. Like this one time, this man from Australia heard his wife screaming, so he rushed to see what was the matter. When he got to the kitchen, he saw his screaming wife in front of the wolf spider. Without thinking too much, the man grabbed the broom to smash the unwanted guest. But then it turned out there was a lot more than one spider. Quite a few, actually. Lots and lots of little spiders scattered all across the floor. Thing is, wolf spiders carry their offspring under their bellies for a few weeks after they're born. Looks like this spider was out hunting. It spooked the hell out of those people. And it did what it came there for. It caught the lizard. It was probably very hungry, since it went that far. Wonder if those people could get any sleep that night.
And what giant insects do you know, guys? Definitely tell me about it in the comments. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, subscribe to Real Bazaar, press the like button if you like this video. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.